Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I hope you're having a great start to your weekend. It is going to be a beautiful weekend here in Wisconsin. It is going to be hot though. It's hot everywhere, you guys, I think. Um, I hope you're all staying cool, okay, and staying safe out there. So anyway, I'm just checking into the energy, just a general reading, right? Whatever comes out, comes out. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for everything. Thank you for all the comments, the confirmations, you guys. Thank you. Thank you to everybody new here. Welcome. Um, and thank you to all of my subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much for joining the Soul Tribe. I love you all. Okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for the collective, please. Oof. I feel like there's a, there is somebody here who possibly could be, I feel like they're in and out energy. They're, they're with a Queen of Wands energy. I feel like this is you, Queen of Cups. and They do not want to let you go. Yeah, this is somebody who's drinking a lot. They're um, cheating on this Queen of Wands, or maybe that's what's happened in the past. Maybe this person cheated on you with this Queen of Wands energy. I feel like, though, they're getting ready to tell this Queen of Wands that they are done with them. You know, this Queen of Wands could have actually been cheating on this person, too. Take it how it resonates. It could go either way. Okay? I feel like first this person was kind of a cheater. Okay? I feel like this person either cheated on you or cheated with you. Okay? And now this Queen of Wands is cheating on them. They may even witness this. There could this Queen of Wands could have someone at their house cheating on them in their own room, in their own bedroom. And this person could just absolutely bust them. But I feel like it it feels like a release to this person. Like it feels good to them to let go of this Queen of Wands. It feels good to them. Like I feel like this was something that's been needing to happen for a long time. And they definitely do not want to hold or do they do not want to let go of you. They want to hang on. So I feel like you've got your back turned here to the whole situation. You don't want to have anything to do with this. Yeah, see, they want to get back together. This could be a fire sign. This could be an Aquarius as well. Yeah, whatever they're finding out. Here it's causing them a tower moment. This is the this is final. This is going to be final. This brings everything down, okay? Um, the fact that they, they bust this Queen of Wands cheating in their own home. Oh, yeah. I feel like this could be somebody who drinks a lot as well. They both could be heavy drinkers. That could be some part of a codependency. They could be partiers, heavy drinkers. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Now, they want to get back together with you. They're thinking to themselves, I should have never let you go. I should have never let you go. But here's the thing. They underestimated you. They didn't think you were enough. Yes, that's the truth. Yep, they underestimated you, you here. This person could have been very materialistic. They could have said you didn't make enough money. They could have thought you didn't have a, a fancy enough job. They thought you didn't have enough. Well, then what were they doing messing with you in the first place? I feel like this person um, put you in a third party, chose this Queen of Wands over you because she's, she's pretty flashy. Um, yeah, it could have even been like um, a, a very lustful relationship. Okay. But they put, I feel like they put you out in the cold. I just felt like saying that when I picked up the card. They put you out in the cold because they thought you didn't have enough, collective. And now this person wants to get back together, thinking they should have never let you go. I just keep hearing that. I should have never let you go. 
And I feel like you were very loving, okay? The Queen of Cups is extremely loving, all right? Um, very intuitive as well. So you were giving this person your love and they thought it wasn't enough, okay? Um, yeah, now they want to come back around. They're, they're um, feeling intimidated, though. Because I feel like you've got some kind of power here. With that cup, that's some kind of intuitive abilities as well. They're scared to approach you because it's been a long time. It could have been years since you've spoken to this person. And now they're coming back around. See, first they, th I feel like still, they thought you weren't enough. They thought you weren't enough. Now they want you back. Okay. What is this? You could be dealing with a um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person's very toxic. They could be doing some toxic things, things they may not want you to know about here. This person could have some kind of addiction. You could have two people that want you back, okay? I feel like that um, someone here is a heavy drinker or they could be doing some kind of substance as well. Okay, because I'm I'm kind of getting the sense that there could be two separate people here, but they're they're they have some addictions. You're moving on from both of these people. Yeah, I feel like it's two. There's two people that want you back. Um, but they've both broken your heart in the past. They've both betrayed you. There's two sets of three swords here. And I feel like you're putting all of the baggage down from the past. You don't want to, you don't want the burdens of, of all of this anymore. So you're moving on. You could be keeping your moves hidden. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Virgo. What is there? Three people? Yeah. Looks like there may be three people or somebody. There could be somebody, too, working with someone else to try to get information about you. I always see the Page of Wands as like a gossiper, okay? So there could be somebody who's trying to um, find things out about you. Where are you going? Because, you know, also with the Six of Swords, you could possibly make, be making a house move here in the future, or you could be in the process of that right now. You're, you're an empress energy. Feel like there's a couple people here that want to come towards you. They're definitely trying to find some things out about you. Okay, but I feel like um, they're both sort of right now holding back communication. Okay, they're just asking other people about you behind the scenes. Yeah, you're moving on. Yep, somebody here has missed out on a big opportunity. I feel like they both have. I feel like both of these exes, I feel like they're exes. They both want you back. Um, they both missed out on a blessing in love because you're just, you're over this now. You've been healing, collective. And you've also learned um, all of the attributes of every queen in the deck. You're attracting new things to you now, new people, new, new love connections, new opportunities. You could have had this awesome idea, birthed a new project, and now you could be extremely successful as well. Maybe in the top of your field. Uh, you could have your own public platform. You could be, have a website. You could have a YouTube channel. You could have a blog. Okay, you're out here in confidence and you're ready to start a new cycle. You're done with the last cycle stuff. So basically, no one from your past now can come back around. All they can do is, um, I feel like they're longing for you pining for you, um, obsessing about you, okay? But I'm also feeling like they're asking other people about you, trying to hear the gossip about you, um, getting information about you from whoever they can. Mm. 
Yeah, King of Cups energy. Yeah, I feel like they both want a new beginning. They both want to apologize, right? They want to apologize, but they're keeping their feelings hidden. Um, they want a second chance with you. Both of these people do, but they're keeping their feelings hidden. Okay, yeah, they've turned their back on. They are still remaining with their back turned. Um, one of these exes, and I don't know which one, they, um, you could have been in separation from them up to three years, maybe even longer. Okay. Clarify the King of Cups. Ooh. Soulmate connection. So this is love, love connections, I feel. This is too many cards. Sorry. A bunch of cards fell on the, on the floor. So, all right. What else can you show me about this King of Cups? Yeah, feeling like an absolute fool. They could have chosen other people over you. I feel like there's a lot of gossip about you as well. People talking about how, how awesome you're doing out here, how you're possibly moving away, how successful you are, how abundant you are, how beautiful you are, how skilled you are. So I feel like this is a lot of gossip, okay? And, and the people that are hearing this gossip, are they're all feeling like fools. Anybody that um, has uh, underestimated you, treated you like you weren't enough, left you behind for someone else or, or an addiction, you know what? Um, all of those people, whoever it is, if they feel like fools, and I, I'm feeling multiple people out here. One was just cheated on by the person they chose over you, they feel like a fool. One has some kind of addiction that they can't seem to break, um, and uh, they're feeling like a fool because they lost you. They're hearing this beautiful, this wonderful gossip about you. Like, the gossip is all really good about you, and it's really frustrating the exes that left you behind, okay? Yeah, there could be two, two people, maybe three. It's coming to an end. They don't, uh, yep, and they don't, it's almost like they don't know what happened. Like they thought you didn't have enough. And now all of a sudden you're abundant. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. What the heck? Yeah, I feel like these people are amazed. Okay, they also don't know what to do to get you back because you know what? I feel like you're closing that door. The Wheel of Fortune is also, I, I see it as a, an end to a cycle, a beginning to a new one. The door is closing here and you're about to enter into a brand new cycle with all like new, new collective, new, new, right? New job, new career, new move, new boo, new friends. All right? And you're leaving these people behind and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. But uh, they, I feel like both of these exes, there's at least two of them, both of them underestimated you greatly. That's on them. They chose something else over you. I feel like one chose an addiction one chose another person who ended up being a cheater at, over you, over oh, basically everything with the world. That's on them, you know? It's their loss. All right, so, and they do feel like fools. Yep, yeah, they're in total chaos. It's It's almost like they... One, they can't believe that you're having this kind of success. They can't believe that you're in a time of abundance and um, blessings are, are, are coming in for you. Doors of opportunity are opening for you. You've got a lot of forward movement here, a lot of progress, a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, a lot of like, uh, as far as they can see, now your future seems limitless. And they can't believe that you've come this far. Okay, these, neither one of these people truly believed in you. 
they didn't see what you were capable of until now. And now they want you back and they don't know how to get you. Yeah, fools, man. Fools. They lost out big when they, when they walked away from you. Yep, and now you're open to receive somebody new. That's what this is. I've, you're open to receive here. You're in receiving mode. You're getting blessed here. I feel like it's success, money, and love. And you've got new love coming in. And this new person is going to be loyal and dedicated to you. They're going to want to build something solid with you. They're going to want to commit to you. You know, they're, this is going to be somebody who's going to see your worth and value. Who's going to uh, who's going to know you're a high value person, the empress? You're a high value individual and these people just constantly saw you in the 7 of pentacles. They they underestimated you collective. But this new person coming in, they're going to see your value instantly. Cuz you're out here shining. And these other people from your past, I feel like that's it. You're going to be walking away. They didn't know your value, okay? And they're surprised that you're doing so well. That's like another insult. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like you could be making a house, or yeah, a house move, a location change. Yep, you're releasing anything from the past and you're stepping into a new future. This is having a new beginning. This is this is the, like the fool card in the deck. Okay? This is taking that leap of faith, starting something new, going on a new adventure, starting a new phase in your life. And I feel like it's a very lucky time for you as well. This is a four-leaf clover you're grabbing a hold of. Okay? This is the wheel of fortune that's turning in your favor. Okay, when the wheel of for, for, the fortune, when the wheel of fortune turns, it closes the door on a past cycle, but all these other little doors open up for you. Okay, doors of opportunity. Doors that will let in new love and new soulmate connections. Yeah, so this seems or it may feel like a very lucky time in your life. Okay, because your blessings are going to start coming in. You're going to start getting those new opportunities. And you're going to get this new love. They're coming in too. So be open to receive. Right? You're an empress energy. So you're attracting all this to you now. And make sure to release the baggage from the past. Because you know what? It, there won't be enough space in your life for both. For both blessings and baggage, which one do you want? You want the blessings or the baggage? You got to release something here. I would release the baggage from the past so you can fill your life, every nook and cranny, full of all the good stuff. Okay? Oof. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, join this awesome soul tribe, and until next time everyone, take care of you and peace out.